after a long drive around the, the campsite loops, we have found our campsite. 23, you're the Basquatch. Hey guys. How you doing? We made it. Just kidding. Yep. We're here, heading down south to the land of the pines. Yay. Yep, Mark Twain National Forest. Yes, that guy that wrote the books and stuff. Mark Twain. Yeah. Good, good guy. Good. Do know who Mark Twain is, right? I know who he is. Good guy. Yeah, good guy. Good guy. Good guy. If you've never seen Tammy, you won't <laughs> get it. But, um, we found our perfect spot. But we got severe <laughs> weather coming in. Yay! Yep. <laughs> And it is mine and Cody's two year anniversary. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, on Friday. Happy 420. Woo, we don't <laughs> celebrate, but some of y'all do. Looks cool. More power to ya. Yep. Hell yeah, happy holidays yeah. to all y'all. Look at the clouds moving there. Happy 420, Willie Nelson and Snoop Dogg. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is home for the next three nights. Yep. We got a 440 acre lake down there that we've never fished and hope the fish are easy to find. We're going to fish it. We got to set up camp. I'll show you around our nice little campsite before we get into making it our home. Okay, that's our little standing table and our picnic table and our trash hook. and. Cody on the table <laughs> and our fire pit. We brought our own fire pit because there is, one second, there is a Cody on the picnic table now. And we brought our own fire pit and I'm really happy about it because there's this nice little gravel spot that we can put our fire pit on and our chairs and then our bed's gonna be in the bed, like it always is. Yay. I've always wondered what a sailboat feels like. I want a trolling motor. Oh, that's better. Okay. We're on the boats. It's windy. Oh, there's my paddle. I've done this before. I got something. I got a fish. It's a bass. He's peeing on me. Yeah, is that funny, Mr. Fish? You're lucky you're not in the slot. There's a fish there. I bet there is. You know how I know? Because it's wet. Nope, now I'm going backwards. All right, so if anybody wants to, I will, we'll start a PO box. If somebody wants to send a motor guide XI-5 or XI-3, I'm not gonna be picky, except make sure that spot lock on it. Just kidding. That'd be cool. Ah, oh, sucker. That was a little bass, it looked like. It could have been. I'm sure there's plenty of war. Could have been, or greeny. Ah! Dude, there's a lot of fish. I mean, as to be expected. I don't know, I'm fishing two and a half, three feet deep. No clue if that's the right depth, but that's, things are biting at that depth. Uh, we're sitting in eight feet of water right here, or I am. All right, let's throw this little Bobby Garland. Little Baby Shad, whatever it's called. I think it's a Baby Shad. One thirty second out. 
big bass. I mean, he's not huge. Hey, come here, bud. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to talk to you about our Lord and Savior, Bill Dance. Boy, he wouldn't. I forgot we're using ultralights with four pound line. Whee. That one I caught. I finally caught a fish. weather camping down pat just in time for like drought season there we go like it's beautiful out that way Also, public service announcement, when you are camping and cooking food, minimize your trash. Make sure if you wipe something with a paper towel, burn the paper towel, that way there are no scents of any food that will attract anything to your camp. Make sure you pick up your trash, put it on the poles provided, or string it up in a tree. Mm -hmm. Seal it off. Um, they make these awesome little canvas collapsible trash bags that zip. And I mean, things can get on in them, but it's not like a trash bag. Last thing you want to do is wake up to um, raccoons have spread your trash all over. Nobody wants to wake up to that. And if you have any pans that you're afraid still smell like whatever you cooked, put them in the cab of your vehicle. Clean them way. as well as you can, first off. Yeah, and then put them in the cab of your vehicle just to minimize the chance of some kind of wild animal finding mm -hmm. it and ravaging your camp. Yep. Because here, down here in the this portion of the Ozarks especially, um, we are in bear territory. Um, but raccoons, possums, armadillos. Hey, bear. <laughs> hey, bear. Yeah, be bear aware. Be very aware. Yep. So, and we're going to link a video at the end of this for some cooler tips. If you don't want little varmints breaking into your cooler. We're going to bed. Good morning. Good. Friday the 21st. Our two year anniversary. <laughs> Looky what Alex whipped up this morning. French toast. Syrup bread. <laughs> French toast. I think it's probably my first time having real French toast. Really? Like, <laughs> homemade, not like Eggo. <laughs> like sticks. Cool. Alright. We're gonna eat. Put the bed up. Put the kayaks up. Put some pants on. I have pants. Just not their sleep pants still. And um, 
we will see you at the lake. Good morning, Council Bluff Lake. bow in my line and I'm tr I was trying to mend it and there went my bobber who need me ah crappy it's a little bigger yep um you can tell a white really well because the spots on side make vertical bars like stripes almost yeah come back here That bird just dove down right in front of me. Oh no. He's dark. Yeah. Ah. I got that on camera. <laughs> Look at him. There we go. Another one. I'm telling you, Alex, throw in here. Oh, it's a big black crop. Dude, these are some of the nicest crop. Dude, I'm. it's shaping up to be the best day of crappie fishing I've ever had. Cast over here, babe. This one's huge. Come on, open your mouth. Look. Look. Look at that, people. That's a beautiful golden black crappie, man. Just beautiful. Oh, you see how gold he is? That's an old one there. They're in this tree. There's a tree right under me. That goes all the way to the bank. You can see it there. Dude, this is awesome. Dude, they're spawning up in here. I knew it. Yeah, don't let him get away. I got lost at Yeah, don't. I lost a 12 incher at, um, Trail of Tears last year like that. Oh huh. There you go. Heck yeah. But. <laughs> Dinner time at Camp Bass Lodge. You know it does. Keep them less soggy. Yep. I stopped that. Okay. Because I don't want. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tonight on the menu is gourmet style Ozark. Surf and turf for our two year anniversary. Mm -hmm. So, for the surf portion, what do we have? Crappie. Crappie. Fresh caught black.
crappie. This, these were swimming three hours ago. Yep. And now they're swimming in oil. And then for the turf, that's the land part. I know, it's the cow. <laughs> Boo, it's prime rib. Or prime, prime steak. Rib eye. There we go. There's the rest of the word. Get off there. I'm worried about this dang butter. Mm -hmm. And with a side of tater tots, you gotta have taters when you, yeah, one way or another with steak or, or fish. And then later on, when the sun goes down, we're gonna fire up the oven and make a cinnamon roll cake. So, yep, things are heating up and smelling good. Check in with you later. All right, taters. Steak and fish? Yep. Keep your stuff in a Dutch oven and keep it warm. It really works. And look at what a beautiful... Simmer milk cake. Made and so. And great. And what? Great value. Yeah. If Walmart wants to sponsor this one up, that'd be okay. And your cinnamon will... They're, they're good, the packaging, the execution's horrible. But we take free ones. So. I'm just gonna turn them into this. Right, yeah. Beautiful. So, those are done. Fire the oven up. Mm -hmm. Get that bacon. And finish some drinky poos. Okay, our Ozark Surf and Turf is finished. They good. Mm hmm. The vegetables are good. The vegetables. Yeah, yeah. my veggies. My no, fish is good. Is it good? Mmm. Are you good? Mm hmm. Juicy. Tender. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very good.